Another one for my plans going into 3.17 Siege of the Atlas League. Uh, what build I'm thinking, thinking of playing. So one thing I want to talk about real fast is I do not know what build I'm going to be playing. Also, I will not be playing for the first month of the league because of Lost Ark. I'm pretty much planning on pretty much... So normally on a league start, I would take the week off from work, but due to people retiring from our position um, where I work and someone breaking their leg, we're super short staff, so I can't take the week off like I normally do. So I don't even have a lot of time to play anyway. And the league comes out on Friday, and on Tuesday, it's already Lost Ark. So I want to give Lost Ark at least a month try. So I'm going to be pretty much playing Lost Ark all February. So there'll be no uh, POB, uh, Path, there'll be no Path of Exile videos coming out in February after this one until probably around March when we actually start our actual League Start project, which we'll do like our normal, you know, uh, going through the uh, upgrades, going through the um, killing all the maps completion, killing all the bosses, stuff like that how we normally do until we actually roll to a build. So I'm pretty much that Friday through Monday, I only got about three hours per day to play. So I'm going to pretty much just try to rush a red map just so every day I can log in and get completion. And uh, also um, just build up some currencies we can have when we come back. We'll have some chaos so we can actually spend on items. So the two builds I'm going to be playing is either I'm going to play a build from Ultimate League, which you see in the background right now. This is Hex Blast Ignite. Ultimate did lag this um, build a lot for some reason. But the build was super tanky, super strong. The build did get a buff also in this league. To its uh, hex blast damage. I don't know if the ignite and also the flat we lost the uh, cluster jewel is gonna help or not because it doesn't have the same cluster jewel anymore that we had back in Ultimate League. So that's something I gotta take a look at to the builds to survive. But this is the um, Templar version I played. But if I do play it now, I'll probably play the new jewel that lets us um, get an ascendancy from the. And we play as the witch, and we'll get a send. We'll get Shaper of Flames out of it if it's not expensive, and maybe play the Oculus version for the Black Flame. So it'll be a Chaos Ignite type building, and maybe that will let us also, you know, solve the problem this build had was um, Hex Blast or um, Hex Proof was a big problem for the build because you see in the background, very easy play style, very tanky. It's pretty much you know, put your Doom on them, let the Give a couple seconds, let it tick, they get cursed, and then you ignite them and they die within seconds. It's a very fun build to play. I played this build for like a month and ultimately it was my favorite build and then I played. The higher recommended. The only version this was the Templar version. So it was super easy to get the weapon. It was super tanky. And if I plan on playing, I might play the Witch version. Probably the same gear setup, but maybe try the Witch for the Profane Bloom. Maybe play the Chaos um, Black Flame version if it's not super expensive. Maybe try to get the uh, Shaper of Flame for the Elementalist with the Jewel. You know, maybe still play with Maven's Helmets for the, um, uh, one of the uh, Cannot Be Crit or something. Um, pretty much the build, you know, this build was a lot of fun. I definitely did want to give it a try 3.16 also. I just never got around to it because I decided to go with um, the Auto Bomber set at the end of the league. But we'll see. This is definitely one of my uh, potential, uh, potentials might come back in March. A lot of it too is when I come back, I'm gonna see the price of everything. If the prices of this build are cheap, then we'll probably do this as the build to get through all the maps and then transition over to the actual another build once we, you know, kill the maps, do all the conquerors, do all that kind of stuff. Cause the builds oh shit, not do that. Uh do not have the video. Rip. So I don't have the I guess I I had this build has cleared the fear also. But you can see in the build on here, it's just, you know, it's pretty straightforward. The only hard part of this build is going to be is getting the rings, which the rings change now anyway with the, um, a lot of the stuff. Anyway, like a lot of the gear will change now, but essentially we decided to go this route. The other option was going with the deck stacking uh, Siege Ballista totems. This is the one that is, I played this in 3.16. It did very well on the channel. A lot of views, a lot of likes. It seemed like a lot of people liked this build. Uh, minor quality, but it seemed like the build did very well. The build was extremely good at bossing. The build did not get nerfed at all this league, which I'm surprised on. I really thought spell suppression was getting nerfed. The only thing I gotta see is, you know, are the um, prophecy items, how are those gonna be? Hopefully they're still good. 
but gotta see. I think the build will su survive. The build definitely did not see any nerfs to it. I think the build will be very good. I gotta wait to see, but this is definitely one of my uh, potential builds I'm gonna play this league is a league start. Just because it's super strong, you know, once you get your totems going, it can decimate everything. It definitely no problem with the new bosses, I'm pretty sure. The only thing you gotta worry about the build is the fact that people are gonna play the um, Elemental Arrow, or no, was it the um the fire whatever the, the EA arrow it might be your whatever the arrow build is that people are talking about now might drive up some of the price of this build because of the uses some of the same items. But overall this build was really cheap when I played it. You know, maybe try to put the new cluster the new um the new jewel in here so we can take some ascendancy points from something else. But build's very good. I think this build can be a definitely good potential for this league. It seemed like this, a lot of people like this build, so you know if the build did pretty well, why not at least try it again? I think most of the uh, trees stayed the same. The only thing with the build is definitely not the fastest. But, come on. The only thing too is crafting the gear on this build. is not going to be fun because these items were a pain in the ass to get. Like the belt took a lot of currency to make. You know, like th this is cheap. Uh, I know quality shit. This league, six links are going to be a lot more expensive than they were in Scourge League. That's another thing I take a look at because this build needs two six links to get going. While Hex Blast only needed one. And one, the one that dropped was on an item that drops from Chalulu. But, you know, it's going to be hard with these two items being a lot more difficult, more difficult now to get. We just got to see. But a lot of it too is I got to see, you know, what build I want to play. Like, these are my two potential builds. Um... Like both builds have killed the fear. Both builds have done shape, um, Cyrus, Shaper, Elder, you know, all that kind of stuff multiple times. So the builds do work very well together. It just depends which ones, you know, we want to go into. But just want to give a quick video about like what to expect in um, 3.17 for me. So definitely will be a lack of videos until about March, give or take when we actually start playing the league. I just want to get that out there so people are not wondering, you know, where the video's at, are we playing or not? So the I won't be on at all, but we'll see. But um, hope everyone has a good uh, POE league if you're playing. I know a lot of big streamers are only playing for the first four days and then going to Lost Ark, so it's going to be a very interesting league with a lot of people not playing, but we'll see. Pretty much, um, we'll have Lost Ark videos coming out for about a month. I'm going to see how the stream does for Lost Ark, if it's good or not. If it's not good... Then there'll be no stream until March when we come back. But if then, hope to see everyone on has a good league. And hope to see everyone on Tuesday. If you want to stop by, POE Talk is more than welcome. And hope everyone has a good league start. And if you're um, if you know what build you're playing a league start, put in the description below so other people are comment below so other people can know and they can always talk about different builds and stuff. This league, uh, if whatever build, a lot of the builds that worked last league work this league very well. So pretty much if it builds good last league, you're probably going to be pretty good this league even with all the nerfs to some of the builds spell suppression still not getting nerfed means spell suppression builds are still going to be very op but um both of these pobs are in my channel already just look back at hex blast uh from me and also look at um deck stacking totems also or Sie siege blister totems i think it was yeah deck stacking siege blister totems you want to see the pobs for these builds the Hex Blast one is outdated because it's the old skill, the old um, tree. So that one needs to be redone. But this one is uh, current from um, 3.16. So if people want me to make a POB for um, Hex Blast build, I can. It's just the gear is going to take a while to get because I got to see what works with the Witch version. Templar version, I do have. Which one I got to play with more. But hope everyone has a good league and hope to see everyone on the next one.